The video I'm going to show for you today is a mobile home that had no heat and it's been close to freezing or below freezing a couple mornings recently so they needed some help. Stay tuned. We have this one here that I think has no heat. Knock, knock. Well, the oven's open. That's a clear sign that they've been using that to heat the house. We have us a heat pump thermostat. Let's we'll switch that to heat. 73. Somebody put this thing up in and upside down. First, let's go see if we actually have a heat pump outside. I do hear it running. And what I feel is cold. Let me kill power real quick. Right now my guess is this is not a heat pump, and it's bringing on the air conditioning. So far, if I can get this fan to quit spinning. Y'all can't see that, <clears throat> but it is straight cool. All right, you can tell by the options right here with emergency heat, heat off and cool, that this is a dedicated heat pump thermostat. Hold just a second. And um, we're going to change it for one that we can program to be straight cool electric heat. In fact, it's one of my last um, Honeywell thermostats. I mean, I've been switching over to these. To these Pro One thermostats. There we go. Let me go ahead and put this on here.
not exactly where I thought it would be. That thermostat is hot. Thermostat wires are hot. This is going to be a real easy one. After this, we just need to verify that heat strips are working. It's actually a little bit. Most of the mobile homes around here do not have heat pumps and I don't know how the mobile home industry has gotten around Georgia's rules and regulations because in Georgia code is electric heat cannot be the primary source of heat but mobile homes have gotten away with doing it for decades and I'm not real sure how they get away with it. This is a little too long. All right, we don't have a common. What do we have over here? Oh, our electric heat. Alright, we got auxiliary W2, it's not that. And then W. That's where we go. Alright, next is green. And finally, yellow. I hear voices and a car door out there. I don't know if somebody's home or not. Twenty twenty-five December. I think we could plug it on the wall just as it is right now and it would be fine but let's make sure let's make this non-programmable Fahrenheit conventional forced air heat yes 205 electric forced air that's going to be four That's really all I need to do. Alright, so now I'm going to put this on and we turn it to heat. We should get, put it on 72, we should get electric heat. Because we just supplied power to this, we may have a five minute time delay. Nope, here it comes. I'll check it. Hmm. This may not be the panel I need. It is. Alright. Looks like I need a quarter. Let me get a little bit of light.
That actually looks pretty modern. easy fix as you can see behind me we can see the sun we've actually been able to see the sun now for two days that wasn't the case for about a week so it's nice to be out in the sunshine i did go back in and change the filter on that one it's nice to have an easy fix every once in a while i am without my van right now as y'all can see behind me my wife needed to go to the doctor and the battery in that pickup right there well i let it die i mean really die i tried to charge it overnight and um it's dead so that's another i just had to replace the battery in my van so now i might have to replace the battery in that one thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did how about like and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one